Hello ladies and gentle frogs, I'm Epic but you can call me Dan, and welcome to my second Modern Warfare weapon guide. Today, we'll be covering the Growl. But before this video starts guys, it turns out that only 1.6% of you were subscribed on my last Dragon of weapon guide video while watching, so please do press the subscribe button down below, it really helps me out and motivates me to get more of these videos out to you guys. But anyway, hope you enjoy. Making its first appearance, the Growl is a DLC assault rifle unlocked as part of the Season 2 Battle Pass once you achieve Tier 15. The Growl is one unique weapon in Modern Warfare due to the gunsmith feature, the Growl can not only be used as an assault rifle but can also act as a submachine gun or light machine gun given its speedy reload time and fast aim down sight speed. In game, damage is reasonable with the Growl, dealing out a standard 28 damage to the body, arms, legs per bullet. As for headshots, damage done over a normal range is 42 per bullet. As for medium to long range, damage falls off by 5 below the neck to 23 per bullet and 34 per bullet to the head. From a really long distance, you will require 18 damage to the body and 27 damage to the head. Therefore, if your shots are accurate, it'll still only take 4 headshot hits to take down your intended target. The headshot multiplier for this weapon is 1.5 times the standard damage, so aiming between your opponent's eyes gives you much more of a quicker attempt to take down your enemies. Rate of fire is huge, at 734 rounds per minute. Burst fire is decent too, with a fire rate of 348 rounds per minute. It may not seem like much, but given the Growl's range and damage, burst fire will be super useful in having an advantage over your opponent in a 1v1 battle from range. Standard aim down sight speed is average, at 0.25 seconds. Reload time is decent, at 2.2 seconds, with 2.7 seconds for the full animation. Reload is quicker however with sleight of hand, gifting you 1.5 seconds as opposed to the 2.7 seconds. Standard magazine capacity is 30 rounds per mag with additional attachments allowing you to have up to 50 or 60 rounds per clip. The basic recoil handling for the Growl is manageable as the weapon tends to move up and to the left then swing upwards to the right once in full fire mode. This can be easily controlled by adding recoil control attachments or using the single fire option as well as mounting an object in order to help you aid your control over your Growl. Hipfire spread is average, and is only effective should you be within close quarters of your target. The perks of a Growl is that you have a fast firing high damage assault rifle at your disposal. The Growl can be adapted into a wide variety of different guns and depending on whether you are a run and gun offence player or an objective defence player, there are multiple different combinations of Growl variants for you to test out and find a selection that enhances your bloodlust as well as being used effectively in the process. For a class setup with a Growl, I have 5 unique variants that I have tested and believe not only to be the best 5, but at least one of these variants will work for you regardless of your playstyle in Modern Warfare. First variant, we have the MP5K. Named only due to its striking resemblance to the Black Ops 1 version, this weapon reps the ZLR Drifter A08 barrel, the TAC laser, the 50 round mag ammo, the XRK Void 2 rear grip and the removal of a weapon's stock. With a decrease in control and range, this weapon is the ultimate SMG for those who opt to get up close and personal with their opposition. These attachments increase your aim down sight speed, improve your aim walking steadiness, sprint to fire speed and gift you 20 more bullets in your mag in exchange for recoil control, aim stability, a visible laser, damage range and bullet velocity. Given your close quarter combat playstyle, these setbacks won't affect your gun's performance as long as you're up close and personal with your targets. As for your perks, Scavenger helps you keep plenty of ammo in your weapon. Hardline helps with our specialist loadout by granting us one less kill for each perk we obtain, and Tracker helps us hunt down enemies and take them out from behind. Our secondary choice is a pillar launcher to take down UAVs and personal radars to keep us off enemy radars. For our lethal, the throwing knife is a useful part of our ninja-like fast-paced gameplay. Should an enemy spot you coming from distance, a quick throw will knock him out. Our tactical is stim, as being under fire from enemies, we can duck behind cover and quickly heal as they try to press. Finally, our field upgrade for this class is dead silence, as moving about will be more swiftly done under complete silence. For our next variant, we have the XRK. This weapon is equipped with an XRK CZEN Mark II barrel, a 5MW laser, the XRK Void II rear grip, the sleight of hand perk, and again the removal of the weapon's stock. Similar to our MP5K variant, this weapon acts as an SMG and is ideal for close range. A few tweaks, however, allow you to take on enemies from further distance, easier than the MP5K. This class strengthens your aim down sight speed again and gives you a faster sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy. 
whereas your recoil control aiming stability take a massive decrease in the process. Given you keep on the move and reload and heal at the right times, you make this gun unmatched next to any SMG. Our secondary for this class will be dual wielding pistols. Any type you prefer, just so if you run out of ammo you can quickly get a few more bullets off rather than reload. For this class, double time is our perk 1. The addition of more speed and movement ability helps keep on your toes from enemy fire. High alert is our next perk. Given your enemy doesn't have cold blooded, you can know when an enemy has eyes on you and jump and slide out of your way to cover. Amped is our perk 3. Speeding the time to swap out to the pistols in case you need an extra boost of bullets. Our tactical again is stim, but this time our lethal is a C4 pack. Should the enemy be camping around a corner, a C4 will damage them if thrown in the right spot and give you the advantage of going in the gunfight. Again, our field upgrade is dead silence. Keeping silent on the go is vital to being sneaky. Our third variant is the ZLR. This is an SMG AR hybrid gun boasting the compensator muzzle, the ZLR Drifter A08 barrel, the canted hybrid optic, the FTAC R89 rubber rear grip, and the presence of mind perk. This weapon is specifically designed for recoil control, the canted hybrid giving you a choice between a 3.25 scout sight and a reflex sight for your two zoom options. With a close or medium to long range, this gives you the choice as you can take out close quarters and far to reach enemies with decent recoil control and no need for mounting or select fire, although mounting is still a good way to take out enemies. Our secondary is a combat knife. Just in case the enemy gets too close for comfort, you can melee them away quickly before they touch. Our perk one is cold blooded, keeping you off enemy streaks, smoke grenades and recon devices and keeping their high alert perks quiet. Our second perk is Ghost, staying off heartbeat sensors, UAV and radar drones keeps us hidden from enemy eyes. Our final perk is Spotter. Keeping an eye on enemy equipment and being able to hack equipment through walls helps us before we breach a campus tent. Our tactical is Heartbeat Sensor, a quick scan of an area can make you choose your move carefully and optimise your plan of attack effectively. For our lethal, a Fraggle Semtex can remove out of reach equipment and even startle campers. Finally, our field upgrade is Tactical Insertion. Should we be taken off an objective by surprise, jumping back into the action straight away can catch the enemy off guard. Our fourth Growl incarnation is the Cronin. The ideal assault rifle, the Cronin is the best for any medium to long range combat. Equipped with the FSS 26.4 Archangel Barrel, the Cronin C4 AT Pro Optic Sight, the Cronin Shark 2 Underbarrel, the Cronin Sniper Elite Rear Grip, and finally the 60 round ammunition mag. This weapon is ideal for taking out harder to reach enemies and granting easier bullet velocity and accuracy in replace of weapon speed and movement. This weapon is one in which you would like to keep people at distance. For our secondary, the RPG helps us switch to a quick secondary and take out campers or equipment. Our perks again include Cold Blooded, Ghost and Spotter so we can remain silent and keep an eye out for enemy equipment. Our lethal is a Claymore or Proximity Mine. Having one of these equipment placed nearby behind us gives us a warning should anyone try to sneak up on us behind our controlled area. Finally the decoy grenade comes in handy to confuse an enemy and leave him off guard for a sneak attack. The field upgrade for this class is stopping power rounds. Having a powerful mag when need to be can help improve your chances in a long range gunfight. For our fifth and final gunsmith weapon, we have the Thermal Archangel. The best LMG variant for the Growl, this weapon takes the 60 mag attachment for maximum bullet capacity. Also attached is the FSS 26.4 Archangel Barrel, the Thermal Hybrid Optic, the M203 40mm Smoke Screen Under Barrel and the Recon Perk. This class is purely based around smoking your enemy's vision and holding down objective points. Using the smoke grenade under barrel will generate a temporary cloud of judgement upon your target and will allow you to have a clear sight taking them down. For our secondary, the pillar helps keep UAVs and radar drones from scouting your position. Our perk selection includes cold blooded to hide us from the smoke in case your enemy deciphers your tactic and adapts with a thermal sight. Our perk 2 is restock, keeping a stock of smoke grenades helps us lock down objective attackers and gives you the advantage. Battle hardened is our perk 3. Any tactical thrown through smoke can hinder your plan, so being immune to these effects can give you another step ahead in this chess game. For our tactical, we will take a smoke grenade to complement our smoke filled battle plan. For the lethal, a Molotov works wonders, not only warning enemies but also fire alongside smoke to further confuse the enemy line of sight. Finally, our field upgrade will be the deployable cover. Given this weapon's poor mobility, it's best to stay behind cover and mount your blind enemies. 
So there we have it, five unique gunsmith variants, each of which consists of a range of different attachments where at least one can adapt to any given playstyle. Do note that the Grau is one of the more unique weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The perks of this weapon include its high damage and long range. Given this weapon has 5.56 rounds, ammo should not be an issue if you run over the right weapons as many of the weapons use the 5.56 rounds as well. Test out these variants online and see which one works best for you. Personally the Cronin is my choice as the holding back control feel of the assault rifle works wonders in the game and its high damage goes best with the fact that the Grau is technically classed as an assault rifle in game so using it as an assault rifle produces the best performance. That being said, it can easily work as a submachine gun or light machine gun, so don't sleep on these other variants, as in the right game modes, they can work wonders for you. Thank you for watching, subscribe down below for more weapon guides, and I'll see you soon.